Chosen ones, chosen ones. Positive Ken, the most positive man in Texas. Man, he take a ride down here with me, Texas, man, to these Texas streets. Dropping this content back to back, man. Before we start this video, if you would, ask you a big, big favor. Hit that like button, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more fire content like this. Hold on to the whole video, because it's late night down here in Texas, and we about to ride. Do like this. So we about to ride down these Texas streets with Positive Ken, most positive man in Texas. How y'all doing out there, man? How y'all living? I know y'all blessed. I know y'all blessed. If you blessed, man, hit that like button. Like, share, and subscribe, and share me on Facebook, Instagram, and I highly appreciate it if you blessed. I say we ride late night, man, through these Texas streets before we get started, man. You know, we always jump right into the content, man, but we eating good over here, you know. Got some stuff going on, man. Had me a little, check me out, eat me some Lucky Charms. I like, I like Lucky Charms. I don't really eat regular milk. I like that almond milk with it, you know. Love that cereal as a kid. I know a lot of that stuff ain't good for us. But what's the deal, Chosen Ones? What's good, baby? Holla at your boy, Positive Ken. The most positive man in Texas. Say it with me real quick. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Chosen Ones. Eating them, but check out my Lucky Charms, though, one more time, man. I love them Lucky Charms because us chosen ones, we the lucky ones, man. We don't got no bad luck on us because, you know, our mission is the chosen ones to spread love, positivity, and knowledge. Drop in the comment section what's your favorite cereal if you're still tapped into your inner child, your inner being. You know what I'm saying? That's the way to stay young, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Well, today's content, let's jump right into it. I know you guys want to hear what I came to talk about. I said, let's talk about it, Positive Ken. You never know who your haters is. Shake your head and say, you just never know who your haters is. I'm going to start it off with a quick prayer. Let's pray. Our Father that joy in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. God, give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us for our trespasses, Lord, as we forgive those that trespass against us. For lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Shout out to the Most High God that brought us this far, Ahia and his son, Josiah, the mighty Jesus Christ, as we would know him, the mighty Christ who died for our sins. Like I say, man, you never know who the haters is. And I got some notes right here for you guys, man. You know, I'm going to jump right into the word. I'll drop it in the comment section. Uh, I'm going to read from Psalms 143. Take off my readers real quick. Read Psalms 143, 11 and 12. Let's jump right into it. And the word of the Most High says, Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake. For thy righteousness sake, bring my soul out of trouble. Bring our soul out of trouble. Lord God, we need you in these trying times where people are just backbiting. You never know who the hater is. So now we're reading Psalms 143 and 12. And of thy mercy, cut off my enemies and destroy all of them that afflict my soul. For I am your servant. We are the servants of the Most High God, Ahia, and His Son, Yeshia, Christ Jesus. Let's talk about it, you know what I'm saying? You never know who the haters is, man. You got so many people out here, chosen ones, that's watching your success. You know, every five minutes they're checking. If you got a Facebook still, they're checking your Facebook, your Instagram, whatever you got. And if you don't have none of them platforms, they just going around gossiping, trying to find information about you. Because you never know who the haters is. You never know, excuse me, who the haters is. You just you just never know, man. These people, some of these haters I'm talking about, or this touch screen say, are so close 
to you. You chose them. They so close to you. And you be like, man, that person too hating on me? Yes. Let's give you a couple examples, man. We'll go into it a little bit. Father, got some notes for you guys. Check out my notes real quick. You never know. You never know who the haters are, man. You just never know. But you know, God had before we jump all the way, all the way deep into it, because we getting deep into it tonight, deeper than the Galveston Bay with this fresh content, baby. Because I mean, you know, remember, like I said, stay to the end of the video. You want to be blessed with this word, because Positive Ken don't let everybody ride through them through the streets of G County, man. Stand up, gals, the county where I'm from. Stand up, Ace Town. You know what I'm saying? Drop in the comment section right now where you from. Stand up for your city, baby. You the chosen ones. But like I said, you never know who the haters is. You know what I'm saying? I got some notes wrote down for you. Number one, your best friend could be your hater, man. You know, your best friend can turn into your worst nightmare, your worst hater. You know what I'm saying? That's why Jesus is your friend, your shia. You know, I'm your friend. You know, people of, of like mind and the chosen ones. You know, Mo3, man. Shout out to Mo3, man. Rest in peace. Rest in heaven to the late, great Mo3 out of Dallas, Texas. You know what I'm saying? Great rapper. And he got a song that everybody need to jam. You know what I'm saying? If you're still, if you're not listening to that type of music, overstand. It's all good in the hood, like we say in these Texas streets. But he got a song called Everybody Ain't Your Friend and Everybody Ain't Your Partner. Drop that in the comment section right now. We're going to jump deeper to these streets tonight. <laughs> we ain't holier than thou the night tonight. We in these streets. You know, we got God with us even in these streets tonight. Positive Ken, the most positive man in Texas. Drop in the comment section. Everybody ain't your friend. Everybody ain't your partner, chosen ones. You can't trust these people. These suckers, these narciss narcissist people that steady be all of your business behind your back. But guess what? God know that they watching your every move. God gonna let God gonna re say it with me. Say it with Pastor Ken. God gonna reveal my haters one at a time. Yes, he is. Everybody ain't your friend. Everybody ain't your partner. You a chosen one. You can't distrust any and everybody. You just can't do it. So the list I got is best friends. You know, number one. You know what I'm saying? Never know who the hater could be. Never know who your haters is. Number two, your spouse. Number three, your mother or your father. When you chosen, man, I know it hurt if, if, if your parents didn't turn on you. In these last days, if your parents still living, if they have or have not turned on you, a lot of people just feel that great positive energy coming out of your spirit, out of your soul, and they just can't be around you, chosen one. It is that they, they don't just hate you like that. They just hate what's in you, the Christ. You know what I'm saying? And they never worked on themselves. So for you to be around, it's like you a mirror to their demons. Drop that in the comment section. If your parents hating on you, family members, that, that you, the chosen one, you are a mirror to these people's demons. I'm telling you, man, this, this ain't no game, man. You never know. Shake your head, do like this. You never know who your haters is. So back with the list, man. Your mother and your father. We talked about that, you know. Your in-laws, who you were good to at first. A lot of you chosen ones, man. I know you got in-laws if you've been married before. A lot of us are, uh, a lot of us chosen ones are back on a single path because the people that you were with really didn't appreciate you. And you had in-laws, mother-in-laws, father-in-laws. And, you know, it was all good when you first got married. You don't have to be married. This message is not for married folks because your in-laws is just whoever you dating at the time, you know what I'm saying, them, them your in-laws, and, you know, these people are just real, you know, at first, man, it was all good, say it with Positive Ken, it was all good in the hood, but it just seems like out of nowhere, excuse me, your in-laws start hating on you, and you were like, damn, I did everything I could do to get along with my girl's family, and if your girl did everything I could do to get along with his family, but all of a sudden, them in-law, the, your in-law, excuse me, start hating on you, because like Positive Ken is telling you, man, you never know who your haters could be, man. 
These people lay so low like snakes in the grass for your first downfall or your first move to say, ha ha, got you. Ha ha, got you. Nah, ha ha, got you nothing. Ha ha, got you shit. You ain't got nothing on the chosen one. Excuse me for my cursing. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get the message clear and understood. You don't got nothing on the chosen one. You that ha ha jump out of the bush waiting for me to fall flat on my face so my face can be full with mud, blood all over my body and my pockets empty. Man, your haters want to rob you right now. You don't even know it. They want to rob you and you just doing with the best what God has blessed you with. If you doing with right now, if you still listening to Positive Kenny, you doing the best what God has blessed you with. Man, drop a comment right now. Say I'm just doing my best, Positive Ken. Positive Ken, no. I got haters too. <laughs> but you know what they say, if you ain't got haters, you ain't popping, man. So moving right along, like I said, you never know who your haters could be. You just never know. So, you know, we talked about your in-laws. Now we're moving on to number five. I'm glad you're still with me, man. Positive Ken, the most positive man in Texas, putting out this great energy to the universe. And we just ride through these Texas streets. We just ride through this Texas street. Cut up your music, man. Get your wine. Get your, whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? Jesus turned water into wine for all the hypocrites that's coming on the channel. Positive Ken is not promoting any drugs, drinking, or anything like that. But just be you on this channel. So like I say, number five. Hold up that number five. Co-workers who used to be cool with you. That's right. Co-workers who used to be cool with you. Man, your co-workers are dangerous. Straight up. They dangerous. You say, well, what? you know, little John, John, Pookie, Ray, Ray, them who I work with? Yes, man. Those people are dangerous. The reason why those, uh, those co-workers are dangerous you know, a lot of these co-workers know where you live. They got your personal phone numbers. But said with Positive Ken, they was haters all along. <laughs> your co-workers that who used to be cool with you, they was haters all along, man. They see you progressing, coming up in this game, you know, turning your life over to God, shining harder than ever in Jesus' mighty name. People want to see you good, but never better than them. Drop that in the comment section right now. People want to see you doing good, chosen ones, but never better than them. Most people are haters. Not all people, but most people are haters, man. Your co-workers who used to be cool with you. You thinking these people your friends, but every time you leave the break room, they gossiping about your name. If you believe me, Hit that like button, man. I'm on fire tonight, man. Woo! It's hot in these Texas streets, baby. <laughs> but it turned cold. So let's jump into number six real quick. Last but not least. Never know who the haters could be. <sighs> never know they up under you. Last but not least, number six. Strangers that don't even know you. Chosen, when you got strangers visiting your Facebook page, you know, asking questions around town, well, you know, I just use me for example, who is this positive key and praising God and, you know, doing this and, you know, uh, uplifting these young men and, and women and spreading positive love, don't even know me and just ready to hate. And if you a chosen one, ain't no if because you are. If you watching, if you've been watching this long, you're definitely a chosen one. And I salute you. But like staying right on topic. Strangers, they gonna hate you as well, man. People that don't even know you. When you walk in the room, you're so magnetic, so electrifying, so dope, so awesome, so about God's business. I am about my father's business, like right now. <laughs> 